Hello, my name is Dr. Ray Winti and I'd like to tell you today a little bit about what is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I see this every day in my clinic and I'm helping women uh, all the time in trying to conceive. Well, polycystic ovarian syndrome is actually the most common endocrine and hormone problem that you see in fertile women. It is the most common reason for infertility in women as well. So don't feel upset or distressed because there's a lot of uh, information and help out there for you. As I said, it's an endocrine problem. We're not quite sure what really causes it, but what we do know is that there is increased male hormones in the bloodstream and the ovary, and as a consequence of this increased hormone, your follicles and your eggs don't grow as well, and therefore there is lack of ovulation. This leads to menstrual cycle irregularity, and because of the increased male hormones, women tend to complain of conditions such as increased acne, increased hirsutism, which is increased hair on their body. Uh, often they complain of something called alopecia, which is hair loss, as well as increased pigmentation around their neck, which is called acanthus nigrans. You may have some of these symptoms, and if you are worried, then you need to go and see your doctor uh, to have this diagnosis. Probably the most common symptom that I see in my clinic would be menstrual cycle irregularity. And I think the classic picture would be a woman who is slightly overweight or put on weight, who comes through as trying to conceive, and often for more than a year or two, who can never tell when she's ovulating, and in fact her cycles only occur every three to four months. And this may be someone like you, so it's a very common picture. Sometimes they complain of normal cycle, but having increased acne or increased hirsutism. Well, how do you diagnose it? How do you know if you do have PCOS? Well, there's three criteria. One criteria is you need to have an ultrasound of your ovaries that show multiple follicles, and these need to have more than 12 follicles. The reason why there are multiple follicles is because of a lot of tiny cysts within the ovary that haven't ovulated. A second criteria to diagnose polycystic ovarian syndrome is you need to have blood tests showing these increased male hormones called androgens. And the third criteria is you need to show clinical signs and clinical symptoms of these increased male hormones. And when I mean clinical signs, I'm talking about acne, I'm talking about irregular menstrual cycle or increased hirsutism. For the diagnosis, you need to have two of those above three criteria. If you think you may have PCOS, and that you fall into these categories, then do go and see your doctor because these simple tests can show if you have it.